Grateful Gap family. Welcome in to the Fun Fact Friday here on the Grateful Gap podcast. About to get directly to the daily verse before I get into Fun Fact Friday this morning. Daily verse of the day of December 1st, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it to the 12th month of this year. Um, what a true, what a true blessing, man. You know, we have, uh, you know, me personally in my life, I've, I've lost individuals in my life this year who are no longer with us who has lasting impact in my life. And I love them and I appreciate them for that. And I, you know, one day, a part of the new system, you know, I pray to Jehovah that those individuals are a part of that. And I pray and ask that I'm able to do what I have to do to help them and help as many people as possible and help myself to be worthy and be a part of the new system, which is the heaven that's going to come to earth one day by our Heavenly Father Jehovah. And um, I just truly thank you for today, you know, for real, like today is today. And, and I'm um, looking forward to out on a great note, um, continue to better myself every day. I have an opportunity to do that, and I just really appreciate you again, Jehovah. I love you, and I thank you for today. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So, the daily verse of the day of December 1st, 2023, derives from the book of Joshua, chapter 23, verse, verse 14, and it states as follows Soon I will pass, going the way of everything on earth. Deep in your hearts, you know that every promise of the Lord your God has come true. Not a single one has failed. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. And again, it's from the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verse 14. Oh, excuse me. Jo- excuse me. From the book of Joshua, chapter 23, verse 14. Excuse me. Um, so again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fun Fact Friday here. Um, today, in light of Fun Fact Friday, my youngest daughter, Skylar, had her first dentist appointment yesterday, um, and she received a duck. Um, anytime she's filming a book or on a video, anything of that nature, she loves to be able to point out um, duck. Uh, she's just very interested in uh, very interested uh, when she sees them and that type of thing. So I wanted to give um, some fun facts about ducks. I like to learn information. I'm not too familiar with ducks. You know, everybody knows a duck. Um, sometimes I get a duck and the geese confused, you know, whatever. So um, a lot of different species of the the duck family. And um, I'll be getting this information from Vino.com. I'll be getting Vino.com. And I will have the link to this article in the description of the episode from today. So um, let's get directly into it. Ducks quack in different accents. Like us humans, ducks have different accents depending on where they're from. Also like humans, City dwellers usually have harsher, louder voices compared to softly spoken country ducks. So next time you might be talking cockney or should that be quackney? So that's, that's cool that, you know, different regions of ducks have different accents. Like I said, it's kind of like, you know, humans and being from the south or being from the north or being from overseas or, you know, wherever you might be at, you know, accents are definitely um, accents, accents definitely stand out um, to individuals, even a speech speed. You know, some some individuals speak faster, some individuals speak slower. You know, that type of thing. So, ducklings talk to each other before they're born. So it turns out that ducks' embryos make little peeping noises inside the egg. The mother duck talks back to the little ducklings to prepare them for hatching. It's almost kind of like how, you know, humans speak to the babies in the, in the belly, you know, you can read to them, speak to them, you know, just get them familiar with your voice, get them familiar with, oh, this is my mother, this is my father, you know, type of thing. What ducklings are, but look at, you know, a lot of these traits that are, are that humans and, and, and animals have um, alike is just, is, is our spirit, you know, Jehovah created everything, and, and with everything that has life was, 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 created through the Holy Spirit. Everything was created through the Holy Spirit, even if it don't have life. You know, Jehovah created everything. And um, just to be able to see these similarities, just, you know, just, just to me personally, it just solidifies and solidifies more of Jehovah's power and, and, and to, to the benefits of his of him being real, of him being authentic, of him being the Almighty. So, the baby ducks even talk to each other so they can plan ahead and hatch at the same time. Ducks have better eyesight than you. Ducks have really good eyesight. They can see two to three times further than humans can and can pick out tiny details from a really long They manage this by having special muscles in their eye 
that changes the shape of their eyeball, a bit like the way a telescope focuses. Humans have much simpler eyes, so it's likely eyesight is a really important feature in the life of ducks. Duck bills are sensitive. If we don't know what a bill is on a duck, it's the beak. So that's what they call it. I guess the, the correct term is a bill. Duck bills are covered in touch receptors, which allows them to rummage around very effectively on the bottom of rivers looking for food. Their bills are very sensitive, a bit like a human hand. And a very silly fact that you might as well know while we're at it, the bills themselves look a bit like dog eggs look a bit like dogs' heads from the right angle. I don't see it. Make sure y'all check out the article yourself to see if y'all see it for yourself. There are a lot of different types. There are around 166 different duck species around the world, and some look very different from each other. You can tell a lot about a duck from their bills. So sharp pony bills are used to hunt fish, while whisk scoop shaped ones are more useful for eating plants. <laughs> ducks are smarter than you think. People don't often think of ducks as being clever, but really they are. Duck scientist, duckologist, recon that ducks are capable of abstract thought and of understanding the relationships between objects. This kind of skill used to be reversed for higher animals like apes, but we're also discovering loads of examples of animals being much smarter than we thought. Oh, excuse me, it said the kind of this kind of skill used to be reserved for not reversed, excuse me, y'all. Can't read, I'm working on it. Ducks are amazing at flying. Some type of ducks can reach a top airspeed of about a hundred miles per hour. Jeez. Other ducks can fly as high as 21,000 feet, and many ducks can fly a really long way. One type of duck, the Fulvius whistling duck, is native to both North America and Africa. It's thought that at some point in history, the North American group just flew there from Africa one day and decided to stay. Ducks are also excellent divers. Lots of ducks dive because how else are, are they going to find all those tasty morsels at the bottom of tons? Ducks' bodies are perfectly designed for it. Yes, they are. It's Jehovah made them. And some ducks can dive as deep as 240 feet. Their bodies have lots of very special muscles that can control their feathers and to swim gracefully underwater. Ducks aren't fussy eaters. Ducks are omnivores, which means they eat anything. A standard duck diet is made up of plants, grass, insects, seeds, fruits, fish, crabs, and really anything else they can find. One thing they shouldn't eat, though, is bread. It doesn't give them the nutrition they need and is actually bad for them. So, so when you go to the park next time, please don't feed them your old sandwich crust. And that's so crazy that, you know, you always hear that, you know, let's feed the ducks bread, you know, breadcrumb, breadcrumb, breadcrumb. So, you know, next time, you know, throw some throw some oatmeal out there or something for them. I don't know. I don't maybe not the oatmeal. I don't know. You know, maybe not the hard time. Throw some, you know, the, um, the sunflower seeds out there or some some tuna fish. Try to feed the, the ducks to have them. Um have the nutrients as best as possible if, if that's what you plan on do to help feed the ducks. You know, if you feel like you want to help out some ducks this year or something like that, leave them something that's going to benefit them nutrition-wise so they can be healthy. Ducks will even eat gold. Birds deliberately swallow stones and sand to help grind up their food in their stomach. But if they found any nuggets of gold, they'd eat that too. And that's exactly what happened in the American West. When humans realized there were tiny bits of gold in duck stomachs, it triggered the famous gold rush of the 1800s. Ducks can live a long time. If they have everything they need and humans leave them alone, ducks can live a really long time, for 20 years or even more sometimes. Unfortunately, most don't live to see their 20s. 
a bigger animal eats them, they get sick or they bump into some hungry humans. The oldest ducks ever were a pair from South Africa who lived for 49 years. Ducks' feet don't get cold. Well, not like ours do anyway. Ducks, ducks can close the blood systems to their feet in cold water and often stand one-legged to save heat. Every calorie they waste on heating is another calorie they have, they have to find from food, so it can make sense for them to try and to stay warm as possible. Ducks are super sociable. Ducks make real friends with one another and live in big groups, alerting each other of danger. Some duck migrations are so big, they're made up of groups of literally millions of ducks all migrating together. I would love to be able to. These huge mega flocks are known as grand passages and can fly together for thousands of miles. It's one of the most amazing sights in nature, and scientists are still trying to work out how these huge groups organize themselves. It's Jehovah. It's Jehovah. He gave us spirits to be able to communicate, associate, love one another, care for one another, all those type of things. Ducks have generations just like humans. And all animals have generations just like humans do. They start somewhere in the beginning of the time with Adam and Eve, and now we are to here. Now we are here to where we are now. You know, for the ones that are still thriving and surviving. You know, obviously humans and, and the world has, uh, you know, taken a lot of taken a lot of animals and taken a lot of things off the board. But um, Jehovah allows the things He needs to, to continue to be in place to thrive and, and strive. So I just appreciate Him for that, but. It's a blessing, man. You know, science is a funny thing to me, um, how we're able to really. Yeah, so I was getting that, um, the details about science, how we try to find information. In, and when we can't find the information, it's, it puzzles them because it's just, it's just things we can't put together. You know, the only thing, only thing we could put together is, is that it was Jehovah. You know, God, God is perfect and everything he put into place was perfect. You know, even the same system, the same earth that he created here was was perfect until sin was brought into the world. But that didn't that didn't take away from the earth that he built was perfect. The way that the system, the ecosystem and nature works and how nothing misses a beat. You know, all these animals have their own way of, of their life and, and no one taught them how to do anything. You know, humans get taught, quote unquote, to do things, but no one teaches animals. And that's all they are in the wild. You know, animals have been domesticated, but. You know, the Holy Spirit of Jehovah just resonates in, in everything that he created. And I appreciate him and I love that. So uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all major podcast platforms. Make sure y'all tune in tomorrow for the Great Forget Sports Huddle. I'm looking to have uh, the video, YouTube posted. Um, we having a sports huddle video along with the regular podcast episode that will be available on all podcast platforms. But make sure y'all check out my YouTube channel um, within the next couple of days after the sports huddle episode is posted. And then I have that episode on YouTube for you guys to go check out. So make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Great for God podcast. And um, I love y'all. And make sure y'all have a blessed today. Pray to Jehovah and ask them for today to be the best day for you in your life. Because we have life today. And I love y'all. Y'all be blessed, Katina. Um, ask Jehovah to continue to cover us in the blood of Jesus. And make sure we praying, praying, praying all day, every day. And just giving glory. Hallelujah to the almighty Jehovah. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.